I'm told that to get to Porto. I saw a lot of honey and olive oil on all these little roads here in Lefkada. And lots of tavernas. They all look pretty much the same. They all look inviting. I kind of wonder, is, how do they differentiate themselves? I guess, I guess they just are. To go down and take a look at that beach. They've uh, redid the road in many places. Still no lines, but uh, pretty good road. The way it looks on the map, I thought this was going to be a dirt road. Grapevines. We've got about uh, four kilometers or so until we get to the very southern tip of this little peninsula here on uh, Lefkada. Lefkada Island. One of the seven islands here. Locals here think that really this is the island of Ithaca where Ulysses returned after the Trojan War. But there is an island of Ithacaius, Ithaca, claim. But according to lore, the description in the uh, the Odyssey, Homer's Odyssey, speaks more to the landscape of Lefkada than it does Ithaca. Ithacas. So, we've got a little tidbit on that maybe for a podcast. It's, it's worthy of a good discussion maybe. It's a windy, twisty road down. I'm told that to get to Porto Kazaki, Kaziki, it's Porto Kaziki, to get to Porto Kaziki, uh, the parking lot is, uh, I, don't, I don't know if there's really a parking lot, but there is parking, and then you have to walk a hundred steps down, so if you're more ambitious, you certainly could take a boat. cool thing about Lefkada Island that you just don't get from any other Greek islands that I know of or have been to is how green it is. We've got the olive trees, of course, but we've got these pine trees. We've got these green forests. It's very mountainous, but lush. Cyclades and uh, the other islands of the uh, Aegean. Here we're on... Uh, this coast sits on the Ionian Sea. In this province of the state of uh, Ionian Isa, Isa, which is the Ionian Islands, is in the Ionian Sea, which is connected to the Adriatic. And as I move further, so, uh, f further north, as I move further north, we've got the great islands of uh, the Dalmatian coast, Croatia, and, uh, and certainly the coasts of Albania and Montenegro. It's dark blue water in the distance as I wind away around. Now they've got these huge power lines going down here. I didn't think there's any development in Puerto Caziki, but maybe there is. The way it was described is very remote. I just stopped and had a juice and a double espresso at uh, a little town I can't even remember the name of. Here we've got a little bit of a, let's see, Puerto Caziki's five clicks this way. People stop in here maybe to get some shots. I don't know how it looks. Maybe I will just pull over, do the old reverse of the, uh, and get the uphill so the thing doesn't. And we'll cut off for here for now, just to see what this looks like. Okay, here we go. Hey, listen, uh, while we're heading to one of the most amazing beaches in the world, would you do me a favor? Subscribe to my YouTube channel, just hit that button down there. But anyway, look at this place. Oh my god, look at look at all the traffic. I mean, cars. They're parked. We're still more than a kilometer or two from the beach. The good thing about having a motorcycle is, well, I can ride right to the front. So let's go see what's going on down here. A lot of people carrying 
there, beach umbrellas, towels. Ah, there's the moto parking. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Let's see, maybe I could, there's another little hut over here. Yeah, this is even closer. Let's just, uh, let's just pull it right in here. It's a little tight. It's a little tight. Okay, you want me to go over there? Yeah. All right. There we go. Oh, look at that water. Look at the color of that water. Yeah. <laughs>